Do you know what I really hate about the internet these days? The internet and specifically things like search engines like Google and Bing and uh, Yahoo and so forth and social media, especially Facebook, have become popularity contests. Uh, for what it's worth, in the early days of internet search, there were just directories. And of course, that was crude. And then there was crawlers. And that was still pretty crude. And then Google revolutionized things by trying to add an element to determine what makes one page better than the other. And they added this element where, well, if one page is referenced by five other pages, it must be better than any of the other five. So it essentially started to turn this machine into a popularity machine. So people then started gaming the machine. They would build a web page and make other web pages point to it to make that then look like it's a popular page. In fact, there was a famous story about um, when George W. Bush was president, where a whole bunch of college students decided they were going to create web pages that would say uh, a dismal failure or something to that effect, where a a complete failure. And they would then make links that say a, a terrible failure or a dismal failure, whatever the exact phrase was. And then when you clicked on that link, it would take you to the White House page and specifically for to the George Bush biography page, essentially making it so that if anybody went into Google at that time and searched for a complete failure, a dismal failure, whatever the exact term was, it would take them to the White House, which basically meant that even though the words complete failure, dismal failure, whatever, were not on the White House page, it became the most popular page for dismal failure by virtue of all those people gaming the system by putting in those links. So why is this important? Well, because of these sorts of things, and Google has changed their algorithms a little bit, but essentially it's still a popularity contest. And so is Facebook. In fact, what Google did is they even added an extra layer that it looks at the popularity of a page by not only references to the page, but how often people tweet about it, how often people post it on social media and, and YouTube and they reference it and other things. So they've actually added the social media element to the search, meaning they're going to make sure that tons of people like a page or share a page and that will increase its its relevance. But if you go back in the history of Google, the way it used to be, they actually, you know, when it when when people weren't looking under the hood to see how this cross referencing work, when it was actually pure, those people were linking to those pages organically. And of course, they're trying to make things organic. But the premise here still is that when you search for a page with, let's say, the word, uh, let's say, idea of the day, the name of this site. If you search for idea of the day right now, and I encourage you to maybe try that in, in Google, um, even though the name of my site is ideaoftheday.com, um, I'm nowhere near the top 10. In fact, most of the time, I'm probably not even a top 100. Meanwhile, there'll be other pages that may be more popular and they don't even contain the phrase idea of the day. Even though I have, let's say, 600 pages of things that do say idea of the day, if you understand where I'm getting, I'm not just ranting about this page, but the whole concept that the internet has become a popularity contest is really being jaded and twisted in really strange ways. Uh, if you look at it from the outside, you'll see people, for example, posting on Facebook, trying to get recognition with things like, like and share this if you love your daughter. Like and share this if you love your daughter. As if and by the way, this is called clickbait. And there's tons of references to things like this, where people put things on, on Facebook that you just have to feel like, well, if, if I don't like this, I'm, I'm not a patriot. If a, if a link says, like this if you love your country. Like this if your daughter's beautiful. I've seen that one. In fact, I, I could probably find that in a blink and put a, a, a reference to it out here on the left side. The bottom line is what we're talking about is the popularity contest that's going on on the internet is really being gamed and taken advantage of by so many people. The concept that something has to be popular to be search relevant is really wrong. Um, just because a page gets a lot of likes, shares, and all that other stuff doesn't make it better than another. If there was an obscure little site that posted some really important scientific information, but there aren't any people on social media liking it and sharing it, and then some dork in a dormitory somewhere puts up some other page that has no real relevancy in terms of scientific principle. Because that guy might put something up on Facebook or Twitter or whatever, or he just might 
be popular for some reason, that guy's page is going to get more traffic than the, you know, the serious page. So today's rant, today's idea of the day is that Google needs to, and the internet as a whole, especially Facebook needs to tone down the whole popularity contest side of things. Uh, they got to get back to the grassroots, looking at the actual relevancy of a page at not just all these external things, liking, sharing, social media, all that other stuff. Get back to looking at the actual content of the page. And the trouble with Google and, and these other search engines is it's hard. It's really hard to do that because there are going to be people trying to game pages by putting words in there, but they just got to improve that side of the algorithm, that side of their search engine so that they are truly giving people the best possible page, not the most popular page, but the page that's really relevant to what the person's searching for. And that's today's idea of the day. So, hey, thanks for watching. I don't really need any subscribers, but it would really be nice if you hit the subscribe button and shared this with your friends and told everybody how nice it is to be here and how there's lots of nice ideas every day. That would be nice. I don't need subscribers or anything like that. All I need is maybe this chair. And that's it, nothing else. Except maybe this paddleball game, the remote control, the ashtray, and the lamp. But that's it, I don't need anything else. Thanks.